Hello and welcome in Knitting in My Wishes podcast. Uh, this is episode 35 and I'm introducing to you today my new pattern over hat, the rainbow stairs hat which is uh, made with slip stitches uh, and that's mean the mosaic uh, technique where you always work with one yarn at the time and I hope you will enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome in Knitting in Mauritius. This is a crafting knitting podcast where I talk about my knitting uh, projects and my patterns and I hope you will like it today episode because it's a special one. And my name is Anna. I'm living by the name Knitting in Mauritius because I'm knitting in Mauritius, living in Mauritius in the hot tropical country, hot tropical island uh, in the Indian Ocean since many years. So my name is Anna and I welcome you here and um, I would like to share with you my love to yarn, to knitting, to creating things with colors, with fibers and with um, beautiful feeling in your hands. Um, knitting is for me like a sort of mantra or yoga or uh, meditation time. Uh, very often I must say I forget about uh, everything. Sometimes I forget to help my kids with homework. <laughs> so we're doing on the last minute uh, when they have some problems. But it is okay. They are fine. They're getting bigger. I have four, 12 and soon 14 years old children two boys and they are fine so they don't need really mama so much now anymore uh, today it's a special episode because I uh, I would introduce to you my new pattern which will be released on the 23rd of February it, it is in a few days uh, today is Wednesday so in one week time uh, I think this podcast will be released on Thursday and I would like to um, introduce to you this new pattern of my hat, which I'm wearing today. Um, why I did the pattern? Because <laughs> you see, I didn't release some new patterns for a while because um, I must say uh, lazy in uh, grading the sizes and so on and so on. But hat, it, it's an easy, easy work for me, so I could knit it on my own and I didn't need many of uh, test knitters. Um, I could test it on my own <laughs> in a short time. Why I did it? Because I introduced to you last week, uh, last time in my last podcast, this hat. And I told you that I did it uh, for my brother-in-law who is very neat worthy and um, many people come back to me and ask me where is the pattern where they can see and when I post it on uh, Instagram also many people ask me where is the pattern where I have the hat from so um, I decided to uh, make the pattern really neat because when I was knitting this one, I was making knots. Um, and it was not just a random knit. Uh, so this one is for my brother-in-law in a baby blues and some um, spin cycle yarn. And then it happened. This is the um, big size. And then it happened. I said, okay, I will... Uh, Need few more hats. I will make hats for every of every member in my family in the same pattern, but different yarns, different colors, and I will write a pattern. Uh, so the pattern will be released on the twenty third of February, and now I will introduce to you the colors, the yardage, and so on for this uh, hat. But also, I would like to mention. 
under this you don't have much time you have like six days from tomorrow on to the 23rd until actually to the 22nd midnight <laughs> um midnight motion time so i have to check what time it is in american time and whatever i think it will be 22nd uh not the 23rd of february you have time to comment on this podcast and say which let's say color of the yarn you like most um I have four of them, so you can you can say which color combination you like most in a comment. And I on the twenty third there will be no podcast, but on the thirty third I will release the pattern. But one person from the comments will uh, receive from me a free of charge pattern. So I will contact you on the twenty third February on the comments of this podcast. Uh, and I will tell you that you won and oh you didn't won you can go and buy the pattern <laughs> so the pattern will not be too expensive I think about maybe four and a half uh, US dollars um, it's just a hat and um, I think it's okay four and a half US dollars and now I will tell you a bit more details about it um, I got needed this yeah this hat in different sizes and i will tell you what i will release i need glasses just to not make mistakes i have a knot so i will put my glasses now on <clears throat> it will be released in five different sizes small child Kids and adults small size, adults medium size, adults large size, and adults X large size. Um, for this, this is the kids adult small size. Today I put it on my head. Uh, I prefer the the adults medium. But for the picture, I think I was thinking it's a nice to put it, this one on. Uh, for this small, uh, an ad, small adults or kids size, it will be combined. I used uh, 47 grams of Hedgehog Fibers DK yarn and uh, 82 meters, which makes 90 yards of uh, yarn hedgehog fibers decay and i used shopel vole edi edition 3 uh, i used 23 grams uh, and it makes 69 me 69 meters which makes 76 yards for this size of the hat uh, it, it actually hedgehog fibers um DK yarn is 218 meters. I uh, no, I'm sorry, 280 yards, 200 meters. I used 82 meters. So actually, you can same for um, um, Shopping Vola Edition three. It is 50 grams balls, and they con um, they have 150 meters, and I used. Um, 69 meters that mean you can need two hats in from each skin you have skin of decay and skin of uh chapel vole and you can need two the same or two different sizes of hat in the same colors colorways of course it will be never the same as the yarn is moving and changing colors like the yarns uh, from a spin cycle or any hand spun yarns uh, i will show you in this hat i was using this color which is the ufo dk merino 
from Hedgehog Fibers and I use this one, I have so much left um, it is color 1523 so this is the colors I was using and this is uh, what I used for this hat now I will uh, remove this color and I will put the next size this is the size adults medium and it's knitted also in uh, DK uh, hedgehog fibers going throughout the whole hat and done with uh, another edition 3 Chapel Vole in color way 15 I'm sorry no this is um, I'm sorry I, the first hat was um, I will write the name the number here 1501 I think and I don't know why I have here to the same tax and this hat was knitted in a DK uh, Merino DK from Hedgehog Fibers in colorway coral and this Chopel Vole here edition 3 was the color this one this color edition 3 Chapel Vole and the color was 1523 the hat this one was not 15 1523 it was another color I'm just writing here now the colorway of this ball sorry I attached the wrong uh, name tag um, so this hat is the medium adult medium and yes, here and this looks like this when you need it you know i don't know how to block hats actually because i block them flat as you can see and uh then this this thing is happening here i think i will um take my iron and with the steam i will just try to make this straight from both sides that the hat looks um nicer so this is um just blocked hat excuse the 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 standing up and so on but this is a huge hat it's for bigger head adults uh, medium and this is the colors which i chose should be a bit more roundish here should be yes so this is the medium adults medium now uh, for adults medium i used um, hedgehog fibers this uh, coral in um, 48 grams where uh, the hedgehog fibers has the uh, skins 100 grams so you I didn't even use half of the ball and 84 meters which make 92 yards um, for the hedgehog fibers for the decay for shopping baller I use 29 grams um, bit more than half of the ball uh, 87 meters 96 yards now I will show you the adults large and this one I have made in two colors and two different yarns also this one was made for my brother-in-law in different yarn last time but now as I'm uh, uh, publishing the pattern I re-knitted it in a um, DK yarn but here I used um, life in a long grass in the color way I would put here and then I used this uh, Chopel Vole here in the same color way as the first hat was used and I will just add also the name here so this is the added large hat size i like very much this size for me when i will need for me i will keep it like this i will use it like this you can 
put it a bit low and now you have this nice crown showing uh, so this is the large added large size then there will be XL added size need uh, in a pattern which you can choose also I will uh, give you all uh, sizes stitch count and for which uh, head size you can choose which kind of size of the pattern um, the hat for my brother you know, was knitted in a different yarn as I was introducing to you last uh, time in the podcast I will put it on again it, it when you use different yarn it is a bit different way of looking look because you are automatically you're getting a different gauge um and he likes very much the hat i sent him a uh, pictures of it and he he got a bigger head definitely and here he wants to have a big reddish orangey pompon to this hat so i will do it soon and I will send a picture on my Instagram. By the way, you can find me on Instagram. My name is uh, knitting um, underscore in underscore Mauritius. Uh, my name on Instagram. And um, you can find me here. And on Ravelry and the links I will put below in the description box of this podcast. This is all about this hat, which I was wanted to introduce to you today uh, for my new release pattern. The name of the pattern is uh, Rainbow Stairs. Uh, my small son was uh, seeing these colors, and he said it's uh, like a stairs to the rain to to the rainbow top. So the name is Rainbow Stairs and I will just show you again all of these hats in the right size combination. So voila, these are my Rainbow Stair, Rainbow Stairs hat, which will be released next Wednesday. Please comment uh, below which color combination you like most and uh, you will be entitled to win one of these patterns and i will text you on this podcast i will send an answer to you that you won or you didn't want i will send answer to everyone thank you very much and now i will uh, like to show you what i was knitting in the meantime um and um what i was <laughs> making um I will not show you all my um, acquisitions this time because this podcast again will be too long and I will uh, send you soon again uh, uh, another podcast as um, uh, I would like to show you my uh, fantastic acquisitions. Um, so what I did in the meantime, you know, you saw it, this hat, uh, two by two rib hat uh, from the pattern is free of charge on Ravelry 2x2 by, two by An Angie. I will show you how it looks. So it's free of charge pattern on, Inst uh, on Ravelry. Uh, I did it for my husband who is traveling very, very soon. So the hat looks like this. It's amazing. I made it in a um, primal packer from Galerians. It's a decay yarn. I was holding two strings of the yarn here. This I showed you, I think, two podcasts ago, but I did it for him also a shawl, which I would like to show you now. This is the shawl. Ta -ta. <laughs> um, I cast it on 76 stitches, three for each side for the eye cord. I made it here, eye cord and 70 stitches for in the body of the shawl, shawl um, count. It is knitted in a, a garter stitch and um, 
So I cast it on normal long tail cast a long tail cast on. I was knitting for the whole length of the shawl and I bind off with a um, cable cast on. A cable bind off, sorry. So I was having cable on the sides and cable on the end of the uh, shawl. I was not having the cable on the beginning of the shawl. So I just, what I did, I just pick up the stitches, cast on two stitches, and then I started to sort of make a cable bend on the end. So there is everywhere cable on the side and on the ends and beginnings. And this is a long uh, shawl, garter stitch shawl. He can, I mean, I fold it together now. He can wear it like this, making a knot or not. Okay. So, voila, nice set. And he can you mer wear it also. I, I was folding together. And he can wear it as a um, sort of scarf way and put it through this loop. Voila. That's his set, which he received already. And he is traveling very, very soon to call Germany for his knee operation and uh, he will wear it. Uh, this was my own imagination. And as you remember, I needed one simile one to, for a bit wider for my friend uh, who was living to London for Christmas. So now my husband has it. And this alpaca, prime alpaca from Galerians is in color charcoal. I love it very much. So now what I did in the meantime, because my husband is traveling, I did um, um, bonnet, small baby bonnet for a um, granddaughter of my husband. That means step granddaughter for me. I did the bonnet pattern by Tin Can Knits. Knit the pattern. I will show you here. It's paid for um, pattern below it. Call the name. This looks like this for a little baby. You have all sizes from baby to uh, adult on the pattern uh, directions. And um, I did it for 48 which size I did it? I did the third size for 18 each, same head circumstances, uh, head circle. So this is the uh, baby bonnet below it, baby no bonnet. E and I knitted it in a fashion cottony from Rico Design. It is yellow yarn with uh, some speckles and um, there is a blue, there is a purple, there is pink inside. All is cotton, 100% cotton. I like to work with this yarn very much. The ball is 50 grams and it's 200 meters in the ball. I hold it at it double to make more study hat, uh, wind protecting. And uh, I think the baby will be uh, looking very cute in it. And on the eye cords, um, strings to um, tie the bonnet on the, on, under the chin, I put some woolly pompons in the simile color, yellow color. So uh, uh, the baby is a girl. I mean, baby, she's nearly two years old. 
So um, the kid is two years old uh, soon and it's a girl. So I think she will be looking cute in it. So this is a baby neat gift. What I did in the meantime also, I did few things. I didn't work on my um, working progresses from last time I showed you because I was rushing with the hat, with the shawl, and I have two, three things to still to rush. And I'm not sure I will be ready in time. Um, my friend, very, very, very good friend from, she's Polish, but she is um, living in France and she's visiting Mauritius. Very, very good friend. We know each other since more than 20 years. Um, she, I promised her I will need a uh, ranicolas for her. And yes, I started, I was uh, knitting on it and I will just show you what I did. I was, I'm knitting it with the Galerians again, Prime Alpaca in colorway oatmeal. It's um, the number 315 oatmeal. It's a beautiful beige color, very nice color. Um, I, I am on the first sleeve, finishing the first sleeve here. She want to have three quarters length of sleeve and I'm making here a one by one, which is difficult to see now, one by one uh, rip, which is, it will be very loose um, sleeve and sleeve end. Um, the second sleeve I have to knit, but I am a, a bit, um, how to say this? I am a bit discouraged, discouraged by the knitting, by my mistakes I done, have done on this, um, on this ranicules. Uh, what I did, first of all, I needed to re knit the the pullover because. I needed it too short. As you can, can see, you can recognize here this line. I needed, it was so long and it was too cropped and she doesn't like cropped things. I don't like cropped things too. It was too cropped. So I took all of this um, part of the pullover was knitted off and I re -knitted in stock this part and then I did this broken rib and it will be okay all will block after washing then I started to need this first leaf and then I said okay let me put on this pullover I was so happy I'm going slowly to the end of this pullover what I find out by splitting the pullover the um, ranicolas into sleeves and from the body from the uh, yoke to sleeves and a body what I did I don't know what I did I did something wrong and I you know in the ranicolas you do this you do this uh, short rows on the back and in the front what I did I don't know what I did wrong I must have been uh, losing my stitch marker and then I put somewhere wrongly. I'm sure I was sure and then it was a mistake. So what happened when I put on this pullover, the short rows were not in the center of the body, front or back, but the short rows were, were on the left and on the right side of the body. Was looking completely ridiculous, complete. I was so angry, I said, I will not ring it the whole pullover. I was so angry at myself that I didn't see it before. I don't know, first time happened something like this to me. 
So what I decided to do uh, with the with the uh, surgery, which is annoying me, which is I have still four days to finish this uh, pull of a wash block and everything, and I don't know if I will finish because I'm a bit annoyed. So I cut the cast on and the first part and the uh, short rows. I cut off, re really, really cut off. I didn't even unravel, I cut off. Then I picked the stitches here just before the first of the um, design, the, the, just before this is happening. And now I don't know what to do. <laughs> and now I'm so, not happy with it that I think I would just meet up in a round in a stockinette then I will make normal a one by one or two by two rib and I will see how this looks when it will not look nice I will not give her the pullover at all maybe one day I will post it to her a new knitted garment it looks so beautiful and the yarn is amazing and uh, the feel of it but my mistake was this that I was not careful enough uh, about this splitting terrible so this is my ranicolas uh, from Mid uh, Midori Hiroshi and it is Cafe Midori uh, um, Knit Cafe Midori on uh, Instagram and on Ravelry I didn't work on my knitting working progresses from which I showed you last time on the shawl and uh, what else there is on the my green pullover. I didn't made the uh, Peter Pan um, neck uh, and so on. It's all on the side because I was uh, in a rush to finish the pattern and finish the needs of the hats. My husband is traveling so this hats will really go for my family as gifts. Um, that's why I was rushing and also because your winter uh, in northern part of uh, the globe, uh, your winter is still there so you can maybe uh, need some colorful hat for yourself. That and then the shawl and the pullovers and the hat for baby I needed quickly I needed to knit quickly I needed to cast on and finish in this very short time but also so the another ones are hibernating not for long anymore but soon I will work on them um, but also I cast it on two another things which are still not not finished one will be very long term project and one will be ready soon because I want to see how it looks and also because I think it will be my um, Christmas gifts um, projects for this year project for this year as you know uh, every year I do some project and I need the same thing for all my friends uh, two years ago, I needed a ranicolas. I, by the way, I'm wearing also a ranicolas uh, here in a silk um, yarn. Um, uh, two years ago, everyone, my mom, my sister, my friends, they received a ranicolas pullover from me for Christmas as gift. Last year, I was knitting for everyone the Odyssey shawl from uh, Hohi Locatelli, it's a free pattern and on Ravelry and this year it will be the Saturday Shrug which is uh, designed by Jackie from Jackie Knits. Uh, Jackie and Caitlin they have a podcast which I will also link here and you can see the um, Shrug on it. Um, I think it is easy knit it looks beautiful and you can uh, adjust it to your own needs and own colors and 
and whatever. The, many of people are knitting the shellac in a stripy way and I will show you what I do. Uh, so this I'm using three colors of um, mohair from wool and the gang uh, and the name of the mohair is take care mohair so when you will look for it so I'm using the first color is grape purple then the second color will be this one it is um, misty misty move mouth move sorry my English is not great and and the third one will be the hot punk pink so this will be the three colors and I started from with the first one I casted the uh, suggested um, uh, stitches I hold this yarn double so two strings together to make even more heavy and uh, more wind protected. So this grape purple is it will be my first color from the bottom. Actually, later on you can turn around and you can change it, but I plan to wear it in the bottom. And I will show you what I'm planning to do. I have three balls per color of this wool and the gang mohair and they're going very well together so what i will do i will use two balls now i'm using the third ball two balls are here about so two balls holding together i'm using up to here then the third ball i'm using uh, 75% of the third ball I will be using here that hold together here I will be using 25 and 25% of the ball the this color the grape color with the misty color together so I will merl the colors here then I will use the one, um, two and 0.75 ball of the misty here. Then the leftovers from the misty color, I will merge with the red color. And on the top will be only the red, red color. I think the red will be beautiful on my skin. I will not make straight uh, stripy shrug. I think these colors uh, will look beautiful when they will merl together also. On, they look beautifully on their own. Why this is? Okay, they look beautifully on their own, but I think when I will take few rows just to hold two of this one string and one string of this, and then later one string and one string of this, it will give a different uh, effect of the shrug. For the gifts for my friends and family, definitely I will do stripes because I have millions of different colors and leftovers and uh, in stash uh, of mohair. I'm planning to do in a mohair. For everyone the gifts this year um one friend laughs on the, uh, acrylic and i will be knitting for her this time this i have in my mind i will do it and i will do something beautiful for her it's easy knit and it's easy uh, christmas gift also I think these colors are beautiful. I don't have anything in this three of the colors and I think it, it is amazing to, to uh, use them for the shrug. Uh, I'm looking actually for more of this wine, aubergine, cherry color. 
I can see that none of the companies right now have they have different colors they have bright colors they have they have uh, uh, very neon colors right now but the wine very deep wine red cherry red is I don't see this so that's why I don't want to give it to anyone anyone I want to keep it I don't even see that the 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 website of um, Roulin de Gang they don't have it they have the another two but they don't have this one so I'm using now for the shrug and I will be cherishing it for a long time now last two last things I would like to show you now I know one I would like to show you and one I would like to explain to you um, I'm having a lot of uh, the Anspanian from Nutigen uh, I can't say the name of the company I will put here it's a Nutigen and I have I think in six different colors I just ordered by the last um, uh, update last uh, collection I just ordered another color it's on the way uh, I don't know I can't stop to order I don't know it's a bit of problem what I um, think to do with this yarn I know I have one cardigan on a work in progress this I will do because I love it and it's the big laugh cardigan this I will definitely continue to need one day I will come back to it but what I'm thinking to do with the big amount of uh, nutrigen I nutrigen I have because of some of the nutrigen yarns, some colors, some some colors they are less breakable, and some of them they are more breakable. I started this uh, big laugh cardigan with this color no idea the name because it's a problem for me to uh, pronounce this colorways in Swedish it's a very much similar to this one it's not the same but still it's nice it's brownish red wine no not red wine but, no, yeah this brownish red and 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 what else it's a cherry i can say light cherry color and i'm knitting the big laugh cardigan with it but also i have so much stock in it that i decided to do something i will try to explain to you okay this is now thing. okay so what i did it's a long 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 term project what i do i do knit and purl so one row i need one need one row i purl with this yarn with this unspun yarn I cast it on stitches. I cast it on 500 stitches. So it's a new project, but still, and it will take forever. I cast it on 500 stitches. And I'm knitting and I'm purling. It will take forever, I know. I have many of color, six or something colors. One more is coming what do i want to do i want to do a square or even a rectangular blanket with it i will just show you what i i am planning so i cast it on 500 stitches i will need per need per need per forever <laughs> done when they and i will change colors as you can see i have in a plan to change colors of the yarn 
Um, then I will see how the, 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 the blanket is. Maybe I will felt it in a washing machine a little bit, not much to, because for the moment, as you can see here, the stitches are very loose. I mean, even see-through. I'm using um, six millimeters needles, 10 US size. So, I think when the rectangular or square size will be needed, I will be felting it in a washing machine for a bit, not long. Then I will embroider it with many different styles of things. I have in plan to embroider some, some birds, some butterflies, some flowers and trees and palm trees. I have in plan to embroider some stones, you know, it, it will be very easy to embroider it because you just go around. And some grass weeds and stuff. And maybe, yeah, something very happy and colorful blanket. Then also I would like to make a border. What I do, I I don't do, uh, I do the, um, sorry, I do the uh, I cut edge now for both of them, but it's easy later to pick up and it's neat. It would be a neat uh, border between the neat stitches for the border and uh, the I cut here and this blanket. So this is my plan. I will be doing a blanket like this. It's a long, long, long term, long, long, long term project, but it will be amazing. I know already because it will be done with a fantastic yarn and it will be embroidered and it will be felted and it will be lo having a lot of uh, steps and many weeks of knitting but why I'm doing it I have so much of Nujitin yarn and the yarn is amazing but I think I have no passion for knitting uh, small garments or, or hats or with this yarn I think I will use it for the blanket I will finish the big laugh um, cardigan I will see how the another colors will work also so maybe I can need some garment or a shawl or something but I think I will use it a lot for the huge blanket so this is one of my project but long time project don't expect many of uh, work and um, many progress every podcast Another, another one, um, not cast it on, but in my brain is going the idea. I have many of yardage of uh, Plotolopi yarn. Plotolopi is a bit uh, rougher yarn, I would say, bit uh, can create, can give you some feeling of scratchiness and um, irritation so what I was doing uh, what I was thinking I would do also a blanket I would do a blanket um, with hairy hairy bone hair ring bone stitch and it will it will look something like this so I would Cast on, I will work with heavy bone stitch, the whole blanket. I don't know yet now if this will be um, rectangular or uh, square. I see how I will go and it is a long time uh, project. Uh, then I will, when I will finish with it, I will not um, felt it because uh, the plotolopi is really 
sticky holding together yarn so I will not um, um, felt it but I will add immediately the border and the border will be made with some slip st stitches of the two different color of yarns or three or four I see how it is going another plan of my um, knitting is actually this will be not knitted it will I will try I have a stock I have a stash in a t-shirt yarn fabric yarn and I will crochet a mats with it I want to use it and step by step I will do a mat for myself I don't know if I will do a, a round mat or I will do a, a rectangular mat I found already some YouTube tutorials for this um, crocheting and I think I will be able to do something with it but everything takes time as you know because you are neater and you are creator and you are um, knowing how long it takes to make something to create something to knit to crochet or to just uh, paint or craft something so um, step by step I will do some more different things than only garments um, uh, and there will be for this no pattern you can do it on your own there will be no pattern for this also you can do it on your own easy things where you can use your own stash and I know living in the hot climate and my family and my friends are not really friend, fans of uh, plotolopy and very sheepy sheepy warm yarns and I have so much stash that I can use it into blankets for myself um, thank you very much for watching it is very long podcast again um, I will come back to you soon but I think it will be mostly a um, podcast about my uh, acquisitions and then in the next one when I finish all this ranunculus for my friends I will I will make some podcast with some inspirations thank you very much for watching it is a beautiful morning here in Mauritius as you can see sun is uh, everywhere blue sky we have been having um, two weeks ago a bit of a flood uh, too much rain but done for that it's thanks to the rain we have beautiful green garden right now uh, all plants are flowering and giving leaves and also our water reservoirs are full right now so there is no restriction of using water on the island for the moment and which we are very happy because uh, we can support the plants also in water very often we cannot use water for watering plants or washing cars for example uh, thank you very 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 much for watching thank you very much for commenting um tomorrow Thursday the podcast will be released don't forget to comment when you want to re receive a pattern or on the 23rd of February you can go please to um, Ravelry and uh, buy the beautiful pattern of uh, this hats. Thank you very much. Stay healthy and stay crafty and be happy. Bye.